Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well. Wanted to jump on today and share a little haul that I did from Sassy Scrappers. Uh, she got in the whole collection of Fresh Bouquet by Crepe Paper. And I wanted to show you guys what I purchased. Um, I only received a few things, you know, from my friend Jennifer in the UK the other day for my birthday, um, because that's all they sort of had available. But now Sassy Scrappers has the whole collection in their shop. So yeah, I grabbed a few things. I didn't grab all of the collection, there are some things that I don't usually get when I'm buying a collection, which is usually the stamps and the washi tape. Sometimes um, I might not get word thickers, you know, unless they're pink. So it sort of just depends on, on what that collection brings out at the time. So just going to grab that. Oops, I've got some tape stuck there out of the box and go through it with you guys what I grabbed so I think this was a bonus from Olga she's always so lovely and generous and sends like a little little freebie whether it be a chocolate or a little packet of sequins she always sends me something extra every time I purchase from her which is very very generous so thank you for that Olga because she has sent me this time um, this double-sided ultra thin tape and I have never had tape this thin before it is so thin guys so that's going to be perfect for you know my tiny little projects where I only need a tiny little bit of uh, sort of yeah narrow tape so it's only about what is it three three millimeters so yeah nice and nice and small which is handy so I grabbed some of the pins which are really really pretty they're sort of like on your gold like almost like a bobby pin type style and the top bit hold on let's just get rid of this so there's sort of no glare just so I can show you they are sort of got a shiny um, almost plasticky top to them you got a cute bunny a flower a camera a butterfly love this So I thought they were really cute and it's not often they bring um, clips like this out in collections. So that's why I had to have these ones. Now just try and get them back in. It's been a bit stubborn on me. All right. So that's those ones there. Then I grabbed a stationery pack. I love the stationery packs that Crate Paper bring out because it gives you all these fun pieces here that I usually use to make my tag flips or decorate a flip book with. They're nice and big, lots of different... Um, Lots of different pockets, as you guys could sort of see. See there. I love this tag with the hearts that poke through. It'll make a really cute um, sequin shaker tag, this one. A big envelope. Like the vellum envelope. Yeah, so these are really handy because they're really nice, good, decent um, sizes, I find. 
So I just grabbed one of those because um, we've sort of noticed recently that a lot of the prices are going up with um, some things. Like for me, this costs about, six, I think it's $16 or sixteen ninety five to just buy this, um, this one stationary pack, you know, and like I said, I make a tag flip with that and then it's, then it's gone. <laughs> so that's why I only got one of those. Um, I grabbed one packet of the puffy stickers because they're usually, I think, around about $10 for us here. But they're really, really cute. I would have loved it, though, if they had brought out some little mini puffy stickers for this collection. Oh, yeah, that would have been so cute because I love puffy stickers at the moment. They're, like, my favourite thing. So I think I'm just going to have to stick with using, I think it's Rosie Studio Chasing Butterflies. They have, like, tiny little puffy stickers, and a lot of those pieces could match with... Um, fresh bouquet which is handy for if you guys were wanting to to know that now I grabbed I might go into these next the thickers which are all floral pieces which is something different um, I haven't seen crepe paper do this before where it's just all florals So really handy. Um, the only thing is, I guess, you don't get a whole lot of words in this collection because there's not too many on the chipboard. And then the other thickest pack that they do are just um, like your alphas. But I don't use a whole lot of elf, alpha thickers. I tend to like to use words, not, not just the alphas individually. So, yeah, I just grabbed a couple of packets of um, this floral one here. I love florals in collections. And these colours are just so pretty. I love the pink, the black, the white and the yellow in this collection. It's beautiful. So, then we have just the... Um, six by eight paper pad i think this cost me 17 dollars so that's why i've only just grabbed the one small one so let's see what the um the six by eight patterned paper looks like Probably still got tab on there. Just make sure I don't um, ruin anything. <laughs> because I'm shocking with scissors, believe it or not. Not very good with a lot of things. When it comes to um, cutting. <laughs> tend to wreck things. So I've got to be real careful. So that first one was really easy for me for me to open compared to the second one. So this paper pad looks so pretty. I'm already loving all the colours. The only thing I haven't been using um, with this collection is sort of the greens. I've sort of been avoiding these dark green colours and just sticking with the pink, the black, the white and the yellow. So I'm just getting those sticky tabs off there. So let's see what this paper looks like. Lots of beautiful pastel colours, um, black and white, but like a grid. Lots of nice... Um, patterns that aren't too you know in your face like they're not too busy that one's like a pale blue but it's got some gold foiling you got like your um 
a lot of checkered patterns actually in grid type patterns floral pattern there just a um, it's got like little black dots on it this one I don't know if you guys can can see that or not with the lighting but it's got tiny little black dots on it this one's really pretty it's like a baby pink with gold foiling um, like polka dots we have this sort of like graph sort of style paper or it's got like your Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday on it got some polka dots here on this blue paper another like sort of grid type paper which I love I love grid style paper got this beautiful one here oh I like that floral that's nice it's quite dark and quite green but the floral pattern on it is really really pretty and it reminds me of a dress that I that I had <laughs> that doesn't fit me anymore <gasps> It's a pink oh there's another one sort of a bit similar but in the paler blue with pink flowers pretty that one's got gold foiling to it on the leaves there you've got bunnies on this page here which are really really cute some bows and you get one of like each different style pattern paper so it's one of everything pretty much this one's really pretty it's like your pink with your white flowers and gold foiling black and white Sort of like a yellow yellow and pink sort of roses so there's quite a good mix in here of um of the different sort of styles of paper so you've got like your sort of almost plain type papers but then you've got your busy floral type pattern papers as well so i think that's a really nice paper pad so quite happy with with that then I grabbed some of the stickers the cardstock stickers so I'll just it's got a sticker on there so grab two of those just get off there we go so these the cardstock stickers you get a few words in here so you could use foam tape to um if you wanted to to make dimensional words in your projects or you could just try and find other um word chipboards and things like that for your projects which is what I've been doing anyway because I always find that collections don't have enough of um like words for when you're making your embellishments so I tend to find other bits and pieces from other collections to add so yeah they're really pretty there's a few words on that which is really good and then I just have one of the cut apart sheets. Like I said, I didn't buy a whole lot because it's um it's quite expensive to buy um buy a whole collection. 
so that's they're really pretty these cut aparts I made a tag flip with the last lot and then you've got like that graph style paper on the other side and then the chipboard which are really pretty as well I might do it on an angle you might be able to see so you've got butterflies stamps cute birds like floral pieces bunny which is really cute so yeah there we go guys that's my little fresh bouquet sassy scrapper haul hope you guys enjoyed this video um thanks for your love and support and i'll talk to you guys all again soon i hope you all have a wonderful weekend bye